I want to start dressing out of my comfort zone. I'm wearing like granny panties, okay? I feel like I just broke up with it. This is the shit that makes me go, what the fuck was I doing? I don't know who I thought I was. Like a fucking fisherman? Like why did I buy this? East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Good morning. It is another rainy, rainy day. I had a really good sleep. I woke up without my alarm for some reason. I didn't stay in bed, so I think today is a really good day. This definitely does not look like the most appetizing thing ever, but it's a start, okay? I used to make way more aesthetic omelets, but that's because I was cooking regularly and I, I did the low heat thing, but I forgot that once you put the egg on, you need to push all the shit to the middle and then let it thin out. But I didn't do that, so it didn't fold properly. Anyways, but it's okay. We're getting back on track. At least I made a freaking meal. Again, I'm getting defensive. Nobody said anything, but I know y'all in the comments are like, my, what is this? It tastes bomb though. And like I'm switching it up, you know? I didn't just fry an egg. Like I made an omelette. Okay, this is good. I'm so glad that like I bought groceries and I'm starting to cook again because I, this girl was not eating. And it's like not like I like not eating. Like I love eating, but I just didn't find the time or had anything that I wanted to make. Also, raspberry jam. Can we talk about it? So superior. If you've never tried it, try it. I actually, I bought this jam maybe a month ago and I'm already halfway done. Like, full so The time is now. I am finally going to redo my closet. Do we need to buy boxes? Do I need to buy boxes? I feel like it would make it a lot easier than putting things in trash bags. I'm gonna go get moving boxes because, yeah, I think I'm just gonna ship a couple big boxes back home to Canada so that my friends and family can have clothes because I have way too many, you know? And also, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna get moving boxes so that if I do wanna start moving and like packing all my shit up, I can, which is so crazy because I am actually moving. I just don't think about it because it stresses me out. It's raining like crazy, I love it. Wow. I also have a couple packages I still need to open. All right, got it. Okay, so we're in my closet now. I got two boxes here on the floor that I'm gonna try to fill up, which I will. I bought six boxes in total, so hopefully that, that'll be enough. I think it will be. But I went on Pinterest and I looked at like my board, I guess, just to see my style and like the color palette, I guess. And I don't wear color. I mean, I know that that's like contradicting because I'm wearing it now, but like outside of the house, I don't really wear color. And on the board, I was only wearing neutral. So I think get rid of anything that's like color. I'm literally gonna look at this and see what I've worn and what I haven't. And if I haven't worn it, then I'm going to give it away regardless if I like it or not. Just cause like, if I don't wear it, then that means I don't actually like it, you know? All right, let's start off with the hoodies. know that I had this. Does this fit me? I'm wearing like granny panties, okay? I have a feeling that this doesn't. Oh, it does. I didn't even know I had this. Oh my god, this is so freaking short. Do I like it? Could I see myself wearing this? My answer is no, but I want to, you know? Like, I want to be the bitch that wears it. I bought this, like, blazer set because I thought I was going to be Joker for Halloween, but then I just never did it. This is such a cute jacket from Lululemon, but I bought it, like, six years ago, and, like, I love it, and I've kept it, and I've brought it with me everywhere, but the thing is, it doesn't fit me anymore, even though, like, I'm the most fit that I've ever been. For for some reason, my arms are so much bigger, my legs are so much bigger, like everything is bigger. So everything feels so like constricted and tight. So I'm gonna give this away, but I love it though. This has been with me through like so much. Period, iconic, but I honestly don't really wear this that often. I like wear it as a hoodie whenever I stay at home, but I feel like I should only have like one or two of those, you know what I mean? But iconic. This is such like a cute puffer, but I never wear it. I probably should wear it more often, hey? I forgot that I have this. But I'm like, do I like that it's cropped? Not really, like I don't really be wearing cropped jackets anymore. It's cute though. I have this brown Aritzia hoodie that is super cute, but I just never wear it. Like I gravitate towards other things. Like I have this Kanye hoodie that I wear over this, right? I literally haven't worn this in so long, but I'm like, it could be cute. I'm telling myself that I want to keep it for when I start dressing nice, but I just don't know. I'm like, bitch, when do you ever wear a brown like that? I'll keep it. Oh, no. I hate myself for that. This is super cute, but it's just, again, a little bit too small. Holy shit, one box full. This is a brandy hoodie that I do wear very often, but I only wear it to just bum around the house, you know? Like, I mean, no, I do wear this out, but it's like, do I want to be a brandy Melville bitch is my question. No, I don't. I love brandy, but I'm like, man, there's so many better things that I could be wearing than brandy Melville, you know? Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I want to elevate my style and just keeping brandy Melville in my closet is not going to elevate my style. I hope that made sense. Like, I want to start wearing 
wearing jackets and stuff. Trust me, like this I wear all the freaking time, which means I should probably keep it, right? But if anything, that means I have to throw it away, not throw it away, donate it, because if I keep this, then I'm gonna keep wearing it, because it's so easy to just throw on. But I don't want easy. I want to start dressing out of my comfort zone. So I am so sorry to this jacket, but it's gotta go. Like it's really gotta go. <sighs> I just broke up with it. Same thing with this. I literally just bought this from Randy for the New York trip. It really did keep me warm. But again, I bought this because it was convenient, okay? It was something convenient. And I don't want convenience. I want to start wearing proper jackets. So this got to go. Oh my God. I'm breaking up with Brandy Melville right now and it makes me want to cry. This is super cute, but it's just too small on me. Like I don't like wearing like small hoodies anymore. I like at least medium. This hoodie holds so much sentimental value to me. It's my Jeremy Zucker hoodie that I got in Europe, but I don't wear it. I just keep it for sentimental value, but I'll let my brother know not to give this to anyone and to just keep it. This is merch that I was supposed to put out, but then I never did because I wasn't fully happy with it. This is what I mean when I say that I will not sell you guys something that I don't actually love because like this is cute like it's sellable but like I don't love it so I'm not gonna sell it you know it's just family by the way this is my friend's clothing brand and it's actually trashed I've had this for over a year now and I wear it so often that it's trash but I think that this is gonna be my beater hoodie if that makes sense like I wear this until it's dead I love this hoodie but it's actually trashed maybe I can like crop it once it gets like really trashed but I will keep it though okay I feel like I still have way too many things <sighs> okay we'll go back through that in a second let's do this section this this section is like jackets and stuff and dresses. Oh my God, these are my Halloween costumes that I never actually ended up wearing. So I'm gonna give these away just in case somebody wants to be a shego. Some purple leggings. Oh, I love this leather jacket. I thrifted it at Melrose and like I've been looking for a leather jacket for so long, but this is what I mean. I wanna wear this out instead of my Brandy Melville sweaters. You know what I mean? Like, or like jackets like this. I never wear this jacket, but I want to start wearing it, you know? Like, oh, this is such a cute dress, but I've worn it a couple times. Like, it's done what it's need to do. Yeah, I think this is a goner. See, I'm like, I don't wanna give this away. Do I give this away? What if I wear it though? You know what, we're gonna keep it. No, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it. I have two Victoria's Secret robes. I'm just gonna keep one black one because I don't need two. I feel like if I get this tailored, I would wear this a lot more often. So I think I'm gonna keep this, but get this tailored. This is cute, but the fur on the neck is too much. Like the fur on the sides in here is good, but this too much. So I think I'm gonna rip it off, like honestly. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. If that means I will wear it more, then you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, that was too much. Oh, this is, see, like this is normal now. And then this is just, okay, cool. I love this dress, but I've worn it once. I only wore it once. And like, I wanna keep it because I love it, but I'm like, when am I ever gonna wear this again? Like, when is like, an occasion where I can wear this? Like, is there one? I'm like, maybe if I was at a picnic at the Eiffel Tower, but like, bitch, like, when? Maybe I should just wear this around the house one day, but I want to romanticize my life. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Because I think that this dress brings me a lot of joy. I still feel like this is a lot of stuff. So far, I have two boxes full. I just grabbed another box. Let's do all of the shirts. Clearly, I already went through this like two months ago, got rid of everything that I don't want, but now it's piling up again. But I think the color scheme is fine. Like, clearly, we're sticking to neutrals, but I just think that I have too much shit that I don't wear. Let's start with back here. I thought that this blazer was cute, which it is, and I would wear it, but I never wore it. Again, I think I'm seeing a trend. Crop jackets just isn't for me. I don't know. These two corsets, wore them, took really cute pictures, but I just don't think that these are for me anymore. This green top was a moment. It was a look. Have I gravitated toward it since? No. No, I haven't. But I'm like, what if what if I want to have that pop of color one day? And I do like this mesh. I'm like, I just feel like I haven't been dressing fashionable enough to be able to tell myself if this is good or not, you know? I'm just gonna keep it. This brown top I've had for so long, but it's gotta go. Like, it's really gotta go. See, I literally bought this not long ago, but this is the shit that makes me go, what the fuck was I doing? Like, no. No. I thought for a bit. Like, I could see how I thought that this was cute, but no, not anymore. Like, what the fuck? This vest is so weird, but I want to wear it. I don't know how I'm going to wear it, but I want to. Like, how much should I buy this for? $125. I'm going to keep it. This has so much potential, but I never wear it. 
I'm gonna keep it. It's cool. I like it. I just think that I forgot about it, you know? But I like it. It gives very much painter suit vibes. I bought this because I thought I would wear more. You like layer it on top of things, but the fact that like it's gloves and shit, like it's just too much for me. You know, this was super cute until I realized that I hate turtlenecks on myself. So I'm gonna give this away because turtlenecks look so bad on me because my neck is so short because my torso is short. Did you know that your torso is um, reflective of the size of your neck? by the way. So if you have like a really small torso, you probably have a really small neck. Or if you have a really big torso, then you have a really big neck. Fun fact. This, super cute, right? Like I love this, but this doesn't fit me. So I'm like, can I get this tailored so that there's a little bit more fabric here? Like can somebody cut this, add a little bit more black fabric so that this can fit me? Because I love this. You know what? I'm gonna keep this because I love this. And I'm just, hello. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Have a good rest of your day. I feel so awkward with those phone calls because I don't want to hang up on them like that. But at the same time, I know that that's their job to keep me on the phone. I don't know. Do y'all ever feel bad? Because I feel so bad. But at the same time, like, I don't want... I can't. I can't. This, I bought it. It's brand new. It's not me. I realize that it's not me. Now you may be like, my, what's the difference between this and the other thing? The other thing is all black. This is giving me very much like I work at a diner vibes. I don't know who I thought I was. Like a fucking fisherman. Like why did I buy this? But at the same time, can you imagine this with like some big baggy like pants, like really big pants and like a small top? Like it could be a vibe, you know? Yes. I know y'all are probably like, no, no. But like, can you imagine like an all tan neutral outfit? Like this is kind of like a badass type, type outfit with some sneakers. Yes. 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 I understand why I bought this now. I know y'all are probably not getting the vision, but it's okay. It's okay. I get the vision, okay? Y'all will see, maybe one day, if I ever actually decide to wear it. This is cute, but it shows my nipples, and honestly, I don't think I'm really into, like, like, I feel the most comfortable in, like, shit that, like, I don't show my skin, and I'm realizing that, and, like, Cleavage is fine, but like super see-through stuff, just not for me, I think. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out my style, and I just don't think that that's it. What was I thinking when I bought this? I don't know. See, I look at this, and I'm like, this could be so cute, but when do I ever wear this? Never. I never wear this. I feel so sad, but it's gotta go. See, I think that this could be so cute to layer underneath shit. I just forgot that I had it, and I haven't tried wearing it. Underneath, like, a sweater, you know what I mean? Like, and this peeks through. That is so cute. Okay, we're keeping this. Okay, this shirt I'm so confused about. I bought this, and I tried it on not too long ago, and it literally felt like suffocating. It was suffocating me. So, did I shrink it on accident, or what's going on? I'm gonna try this on. You see what I mean? Like, it just feels very very small and does not flatter me like I feel like I'm wearing a shirt too small for me so yeah I think I accidentally did shrink it so I'm gonna keep this though but sell it because this is a chrome heart shirt two seconds later I just searched this up to see if it was like worth selling or if I should just give it away and I realized that they are literally like all sold out and if they did sell they sold for like $200 so I'm gonna try to unshrink this because I did really like the shirt I like this but it's just too small like I hate how constricted it feels at the boobs but I love these colors, you know? Like, if I'm gonna wear color, it's gonna be red. This was fun while it lasted. See, I bought this because I thought I would love it, but too much boob, and, like, I'm just not into that anymore. <laughs> Why am I getting so frustrated right now? Like, these hangers are pissing me off for no reason. <sighs> I gotta breathe. Wow, this was my most worn shirt, like, all of last year, and I've worn it a couple times. It's cute, but it's just too small. Like, again, like, I don't think that I'm super into, like, small... I don't know. I just... It's time is gone. Fun while it lasted. All right, this is what I got so far. I'm gonna eat some lunch though. Time is currently, I think like four o'clock. The sun is about to set, but I decided to eat something because I was starting to get hungry and I hate when I wait until I'm starving to eat because then by that time I'm like just snacking because I just want to get something in my body. But I just made a sandwich with some salad, very simple, but I'm currently reading a book again because I was like, oh my God, I haven't read a book in so long. And I remember I loved reading books and I've literally only been like listening to an audiobook for like 30 minutes now and it's already like opened up new pathways in my brain. 
brain so I thought I would share like what I've been learning it's so crazy how important self acceptance is that is literally the most important thing and that's the biggest thing that correlates to happiness like no matter how many habits you try to create no matter how much you go to the gym no matter how much you drink that celery juice like no matter how kind you are to people all of those things definitely matter but the one that makes the biggest difference is self acceptance and I don't think that we realize that is because like we'll go to the gym and stuff but then we'll still look at ourselves in the mirror and beat ourselves up and it's like so contradicting and like obviously it's like no shit I'm just currently reading on how you can change the neuro path neuro something paths to neuro oh how you can change the neurotransmitters in your brain to correlate different actions with self-acceptance when I'm listening to this book it's already made me open up my eyes and be like damn I need to be more self-accepting of myself because I tell myself oh I'm not doing enough I'm not doing good on YouTube like I need to push myself harder blah 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 like I could be doing so much more but the more that I do that it's just gonna be counteractive and I know that this could probably apply to you with like your job or your school but the more you tell yourself oh I'm not doing enough and you start racing your mind thinking of all the things you should be doing and how you could be better Better. Give yourself a pat on the back for what you've already done and really try to focus today or after this video on what you have achieved You know what I mean and encourage yourself for those things and be positive about that And I know it may seem so simple But really try to focus on that and see how much better you feel because just listening to this made me a lot more motivated It's just sometimes we forget that the most important thing is ourselves and to put ourselves first anyways I just went through all of my underwear. Basically, I just separated from granny panties and thongs and then I just put in a pile the things that like just aren't clean looking anymore or like just raggedy I guess just doesn't feel clean to me. I'm just gonna throw those away because I already have so many you know what I mean? I just got rid of basically half of my underwear. That's that pile there and then we have these two clean piles and then that. Oh my god showing you guys my underwear online. We have my socks here which I don't think that I should go through now. I feel like that can be gone through later but. Wow she's looking so clean so fresh. That's still so many clothes. Y'all want to know what my problem is right now? I can't freaking find my vagina cup. And I oh Which is kind of concerned because I need to change my freaking pair because I don't even wear them But it's just I couldn't find my freaking vagina cup this morning. So I just TMI. I don't care a diva cup By the way, if you don't know what a vagina cup is, um, excuse me miss. Why'd you just go missing? How do I just lose a vagina cup? That's not some shit you misplaced. What do I do? Do I make a makeshift pad? Like the last thing that I want to do is go out to the store I really don't know why it's such a big deal though. <laughs> like is my vagina cup behind my mirror? I should probably just stop calling it that first and foremost. I think I just like makeshift with some paper towel. I put on my spam account 10 different stories and had you guys pick my new place to live. Like I couldn't pick so y'all helped me. I put polls and everything like dead ass. Y'all are kind of my besties. Like I didn't consult anybody but the spam account which is the funny thing. Makeshift pad. This is like bounty so it's like this is really good absorbency. Like it's not the cheap shit. So I'm gonna put this in my underwear. And tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go through all of my workout sets, which I have two full freaking drawers of, okay? Oh, and my shoes, and my shoes, okay. Oh, fuck, I have a lot to do still. Period. I think I'm gonna go on a walk though, cause it's like 9.30 and I should probably be sleeping right now, but I'm gonna go on a walk and then go to sleep maybe. Was this vlog boring? I got some new, this isn't the hummus, some hummus avocado lime by Hope. If y'all live in the US and have sprouts, you can get it there. You can probably get it tomorrow too, but lately I've been a hummus bitch. And like, I'm trying new flavors. This I put on my sandwich today. I'm tweaking just thinking about it. Y'all need to try it. Ew, those sound effects were disgusting, my bad. I just feel like the air circulates better, especially with my veneers. When it's like too cold, it's just like, but like if I like open my mouth, I feel like the, the warm air kind of like can like, I don't know, I'm dumb. No, I'm not. I'm so smart. Now me just like doing a hummus reveal. New year, new me. Two hours later. I just got home from the walk. Cause it finally stopped raining at night. It was raining literally all day long. Like LA's been getting a weird amount of rain. Anyways, but that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably post a couple times this week, but make sure to subscribe because I love you all. Subscribe to be a part of the family. Let's try to get to 1.7 million subscribers. Um, Please subscribe. If you want to unsubscribe later, you can, but just please subscribe now. And then if you just realize you don't like me, unsubscribe later. Okay. Bye.